And the United Nations says it continues to follow with deepening horror the desperate situation for civilians in Gaza and in Israel. The International Human Rights Organization now says civilians must never be used as bargaining chiefs as some continue to be held hostage by Palestinian armed groups in clear violation of international humanitarian law. More than 2,700 people, including civilians, have already been killed in both Israel and Gaza. UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, uh, Volker Turk, is urging all states to insist on and assist the parties to the conflict in immediately implementing a humanitarian corridor to ensure safe and unimpeded access to humanitarian aid. The UN says it's important that an urgent solution is found to the 56-year-old conflict, and it will also be at the disposal of both Israelis and Palestinians to help the region break from this vicious cycle of bloodshed, hatred, and polarization. Continue to follow with deepening horror the desperate situation for civilians in Gaza and in Israel. As we have stressed, civilians must never be used as bargaining chips. Yet we continue to receive heartbreaking messages of helplessness from people in Gaza who are moving from house to house, terrified, seeking elusive safety. And civilians continue to be held hostage by Palestinian armed groups in clear violation of international humanitarian law. We call again for their humane treatment and their immediate and unconditional release. It is absolutely crucial that Israeli leaders make it unambiguously clear that military operations must be conducted in full compliance with international law.